First, though, NASA's most powerful rocket yet, now standing tall on the launch pad. The next stop, the moon. It took teams nearly 10 hours overnight to get the massive SLS rocket from the Vehicle Assembly Building all the way to the pad at Kennedy Space Center. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. And now, in just 12 days, the rocket could take its maiden flight. News 6's Mark Lehman walks us through what's next. NASA's Artemis program taking a crucial step this morning as the 32 story rocket is poised for its test flight. That upcoming mission is something that could pave the way for astronauts to return to the moon. Just after sunrise, NASA's Artemis moon rocket arrived at Launch Complex 39B. The mobile launcher completing a roughly 10 hour journey overnight at a speed of less than a mile an hour. Last night we were able to sit on our balconies and watch the rollout. Karen Jennings lives on the Indian River and watched as the space launch system took a big step ahead of a historic mission. You can't beat it. You know, we're very blessed to be, you know, living here on the space coast and be able to witness um, history, you know, going off. Teams are prepping the 322 foot rocket and the Orion capsule for a test flight to the moon as early as August 29th. The SLS will lift off as the most powerful rocket NASA's ever launched. I just really can't imagine. I'm sure the, the roar is going to be tremendous. I anticipate the windows shaking on the house. The uncrewed 42 day mission sending Orion into lunar orbit and the capsule will splash down back on Earth. If successful, it could be followed by a mission with astronauts on board sometime in 2024. So proud to, you know, that this is happening and so proud to be able to witness it. At this point, everything's looking good for that test flight to happen August 29th at the earliest. With the rocket now on the pad, we're waiting for any new details from NASA. We'll keep you updated with what we learn. For now, reporting at Space View Park in Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. And as we count down to the launch of NASA's Artemis 1 mission, News 6 wants to give you the chance to witness it all up close. We're giving one lucky insider two tickets to watch the August 29th liftoff from Kennedy Space Center. You can apply once a day now through August 23rd. Just head to clickorlando.com slash insider for your chance to win. And while you're on our website, you can learn more about NASA's plans for the Artemis program and the SLS rocket. It's all on clickorlando.com space.